Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is kind of part two of our extreme bathroom makeover, but this will focus more on a specific furniture and accessories that we use. Natin. So for this video, we are going to convert a UPVC bathroom door, a plastic bathroom door, into some sort of wood-looking door. Na ang inspiration natin is barn door, and then we are going to resurface two old floating shelves plus accessories that we will turn into something that you can get from UG. So basically, this is an upcycling of some old items that we already have. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. For this first project, we are going to upgrade these old white floating shelves. Initially, I was supposed to replace it with a new one na nakita ko online but I came across this easy to use sticker vinyl nung naghahanap tayo ng materials sa Home Depot at mas makakatipid tayo. Medyo madumi na itong shelves at madami na siyang stain. Aside from that, gawa ito sa MTF kaya pag nababasa, lumulobo siya. So, ang gagawin natin para mas ma-protect siya from water spillage is to cover it with this self-adhesive decorative vinyl in natural wood grain. Pinili natin tong color para magkaroon ng contrast doon sa magiging new color ng ating bathroom. Para mas tumikit siya at walang bubble sa gitna, ginamitan ko nitong plastic spatula. Pero pwede rin naman natin gumamit ng ibang materials as long as hindi magagasgas yung sticker. Dito sa mga edges, maingat tayo sa pag-cut ng excess para hindi madama yung other side niya. Para magmukha talaga siyang wood at hindi fake looking, huwag natin i-cover yung buong part dapat yung sa side, iba yung orientation ng wood grains. Dapat nakaparallel para mas natural tingnan. And there it is. Good as new na ulit ang ating floating shelves at mas bagay na siya sa look ng ating bathroom. For this next project, we are going to upgrade this toothbrush holder and soap dispenser and we are going to be using this abaca string that I got from the Pitan Arcade. The 
this is so simple and easy na irarap lang natin siya pag bumukhain natin siyang item na mabibili natin from UG. So since ang theme natin for the bathroom is farmhouse or on using more neutral color, hindi na babagay itong ating holder and dispenser. Anyway, mura lang naman natin ito nabili from Wilcon. I think, nakasale pa nga. Dapat popsicle sticks ang material na gagamitin ko dito, pero I decided na itong strings ang gamitin. so easy that we only need to wrap the string around and every inch or two lalagyan natin siya ng hot glue para mas kumapit siya. I initially thought na hindi buong i-cover pero Nung natapos siya, hindi, ko masyadong, hindi ako masyadong nagandahan. Kaya ito, kinover natin ng buo ng abaka, leaving only the top part. Madami akong naisip na pwede kong i-cover nitong abaka string. Actually, ang dami niyang pwedeng paggamitan na makoconvert niya into something na ang ganda na lang niya tingnan. And the good thing about abaka is it's so durable na kahit nababapad siya sa tubig, hindi siya ganun kaagad na masisira. And that finishes up our second project. We are gonna start this third project in looking for materials sa Home Depot. This branch actually is in BGC. Nasa area na ako kaya dumaan ako sa happy place natin. Looking for some new stuffs na pwede nating magamit. Itong dalawa yung pinagpipilian ko pero I went doon sa mas magaan na option kasi baka hindi kaya din ang door hinges natin bumigay ang door. And last project, we are gonna convert this PVC plastic door into something that would look like a barn door. And of course, that would also complement doon sa ating bathroom ng team is farmhouse. So typically, ang deliverables for turnovers sa mga bathroom ng condos are PVC since mahirap kung totoong wood at parating basa ang era. Aside from that, mas mura ito. But I don't like the look of it. Meron namang mga wood na pwedeng gamitin. But it, yun nga, it would cost us so much. So instead, naisip ko kung i-upcycle natin since may butas na rin naman yung pinto. Uh, I wanted to convert into something that would look like a real wood na ang gagamitin natin is only floor vinyl na nabili nga natin sa home. Since barn door ang peg natin, naghanap ako ng inspiration and most of them medyo intricate ang designs. So itong napili natin is simple pero syempre maganda pa din. I started by putting horizontally para maging base to mga vertical vinyl planks na ilalagay natin. I'm 
using a typical rugby dito kasi naubusan tayo ng adhesive kaya medyo masakit sa ulo yung amoy pero bearable naman. And since I have to test it out kung talagang okay yung rugby dito sa plastic on plastic. edges ng ating door by the way ay hindi pantay so we started measuring from the center and then doon tayo nagsisimulang maglagay ng ating planks para mas balance ang kalapasan ng ating door. After yung application natin ng rugby, dapat both yun sa floor vinyl tsaka yung sa door i-apply natin and then you have to wait for at least 30 minutes pero ako ginawa kong 1 hour para mas matuyo siya at mas makakit siya. I am using again the same spatula na ginamit natin doon sa ating sticker vinyl sa ating floating shelves para mas ma-press siya at mas dumikit and then para hindi ka agad siya tumang matanggal. Noong natapos na pala tong ating paglalagay ng floor vinyl, since hindi ka agad nakuhanan yung video, after few days, nagsitoklapan siya. Hindi ata masyadong compatible yung plastic on plastic. So I decided to put high strength glue sa edges para mas kumapit siya. So, so far, hindi na ulit siya tumoklap. By the way, hesitant ako sa color nung una pero ang ganda ng result that it blends with the cement finish look of the wall. finishes of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember, hindi natin kailangan bumili ng bago for a makeover. Reusing or upcycling items that we already have can save you money. Plus, you can make it more fun by doing it with your family. If you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more DIY, home decor, arts and crafts, and anything about real estate in the Philippines. And make sure to click that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. Salamat po sa panonood and see you guys next time. Bye!